in this film uh, we're going to be learning how to create our own kind of watercolor brush uh, similar like we're seeing here and uh, we're going to go through the step by steps now obviously like all things watercolor brushes uh, tend to actually have like this unevenness but we also want them to actually mix together as we paint through so we're going to be uh, first of all creating a pattern then we're going to be creating the brush then we're going to be creating the different settings to do with the kind of things that we need to the brush and so on so by default a normal soft brush is going to give us a radiation um, and obviously if we made it a hard brush it would give us a solid edge what we're trying to do is actually create ourselves a brush with uh, broken up edges around the side so um, even though we could go up into the brush selection here as we start to actually scroll through the likes of the basic brushes and the legacy brushes and so on you're going to see already there's lots of different brushes that are already included in the likes of photoshop and of course let's not forget you can go online and actually download them uh, pretty much uh, anywhere today for free um, but what you want to make sure is what you're looking at is uh, trying to create your own brushes at some stage because then you understand how the kind of the basics work. First thing I want to do is start to actually add a cloud effect here because I'm looking to create the texture first in fact. So I'm just going to hit first D for default that puts uh, black on top of the four foreground with white below and we're just going to go up into filter, render and we're going to go to clouds. That fills with this lovely kind of black and white cloud effect and I just want to make it a little less contrasty in fact so just control L, command L on a Mac for le levels and just kind of open up the um, uh, midpoint just a little bit and increase the whites just a touch as well so that's, that's okay it's pretty good now by doing this what I want to now uh, create is the pattern from this uh, the texture of the brush as it were so I'm just going up into edit coming up now and coming through into define pattern and just call it MC watercolor brush texture. I'm just going to press OK to that. And once I've done that, we're now looking to start to actually create the physical brush itself. So as we already saw, um, basically this kind of uh, brush that we've got here has a lovely soft edge. Uh, if I just make the brush a lot bigger for a minute, you can also see that we've got these um, textures that are kind of spilling over the edge. Uh, we're looking for the pattern, the kind of the jaggedness to come off the edges, and that's what we've got to build first. So every time we kind of click on to it, it's basically going to be adding the textures, and it's also going to be rotating itself. It's also going to be changing its direction in the jitter, as well as the contrast within the image as well. So we're trying to create a natural looking brush. So the first thing we're going to do is come up into the brushes uh, selection here and we want to work with legacy brushes and what we're looking for is a brush called Oil Heavy Flow which has a lovely texture on the edges to begin with. So once you start to actually scroll through your different brushes uh, and the different looks and feel, what we're looking for as I said is the oil heavy flow that's that's the one we want to actually work with now so let's just kind of scroll down here and we've got that um, oil heavy flow dry edges here which is the one that I'm going to choose for now so if I just um, select on towards here and if I just make the brush just that little bit bigger you can start to see um, how it starts to actually lay itself down so once we're up into the brush tip, uh, we're going to change the size of the brush. So this is going to be the defined size of how it's going to kind of come onto the effect. And obviously it depends on the size of pixels that you're using generally. Uh, but you just pick something that is kind of around about you. I'm just going to kind of go to around about 200 pixel for me. If that's a little bit big for yours, just make it a little bit smaller, uh, 
smaller. And the next thing we want to do is adjust the uh, spacing of the tip of the brush and things really. Okay, so just actually just under here. And you can see as we start to actually uh, separate the uh, space in it starts to see the different splatters in fact I want them to be very very close together so around about one or two percent uh, depends on the kind of the look so now this is how it's going to actually start to melt together yeah let's bring that down to one percent in fact it's pretty good um, next thing we're going to come down to is the shape dynamics so click onto the head in and make sure that ticks as well and this is where we're going to uh, spread the jitter. So in other words, the changing of the actual way that it's applied. I'm going to bring this right up to 100%. So let's do it before we do this so you can see it. And now we do the jitter. And you can see already how it's beginning to actually change its edging. So with the size jitter on 100%, the next thing will be to is to change the controls down to pen pressure, even if you're not doing uh, the likes of a Wacom tablet, wherever it is, I would still actually stick it onto pen pressure. It does uh, affect the flow of the actual uh, paint or ink. So just going to click onto that and then a slight angle on the jitter to change its uh, uh, dynamic. Once more, clicking onto the pen pressure. And then as far as the uh, roundness, uh, uh, it really depends on you whether you want to actually smooth it off or not. In this case, I don't. Okay, so our next one is going to be into texture. So just going to click onto the texture here. And we want to go and choose the texture that we just created, of course. So don't forget, this is the one that we just created. You can see there's several effects in here. There's the one I just did. That's the one I want to actually use. And then uh, as far as the scale and the brightness of the contrast uh, uh, is uh, set, um, pretty much I don't need to change those 100%, zero, and somewhere around about 12. Uh, as far as the uh, texture each uh, tip set is concerned, we want to actually um, switch that off. And the main thing is set the mode to subtract, okay? So um, it's going to kind of add a, diff a different effect as we're going through, as you can see through here already now. All right. So if you just do that and I just click on the normal mode or the multiply mode, you can see the difference. So we want a lighter brush that is going to add on top. OK, so once we've uh, set that, uh, just a little bit of the depth change uh, down to personal kind of preferences again. Uh, paint now up is just going to just change again, as you can see. And then the next part of the uh, uh, brush being created is we're going to click on to the dual brush. In this case, I'm just going to add on a second brush, which is going to be the softer edge now. So this is the edge that we just added in. So these two brushes are going to work together now. That's why we created the dual brush here. Yeah? So again, depends on um, the kind of the look and the feel that you want. Size, uh, probably a lot bigger to actually match closer to where we were. 120, something like that, spacing. Let's uh, take it down a little bit smaller. And then we'll just scatter both the accesses and let's push this right up to kind of show how it starts to actually almost bleed apart. See the difference here now? If we take the jitter off and you see the difference there you can see already how it's kind of uh, a change in the look and the feel so that's what that uh, 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 scattering is really doing for us let's just switch this off again so remember just really down to where it feels good for you 425 that looks all right and uh, then as far as how many are we going to make it kind of go across let's have a look um, first of all there's just two five a little bit more. I think that's better, in fact. There we go. We'll keep that at eight. Okay, so we want to just work with uh, transfer now. So this is the uh, brush before. We're going to add some uh, pasty jitter in here. Let's bring it up 30% ish. See the difference in that? Yeah, it's better. It's lighter already. We're just going to make sure it's got the pen pressure switched on as well. Uh, we just need that capacity to about 30% as I said. That's it there. Would help if I 
clicked on the right point. And then uh, just to finalize this first part of the brush, I'm just going to click on the wet edges, the build up and the smoothing as well. So we're pretty much on the basics of our first brush. So with that done now, I can save the brush itself, all right? So let's go up into the little hamburger here at the top, clicking onto that, new brush preset, and this is my MC Watercolor 2020 brush 1172. So that's okay. And that is the fundamental basic of the actual brush itself. So if we just uh, delete that again, so put a new layer on, you can see what we've created different to where we were in the beginning. So let's see what it's like with just a little bit of color. So let's go and add in some color here. And you can see how that really mixes well together. Change the color again, let's just see it. Yeah, good, 